Okay, today I'm making charcoal in this paint can. I'm attempting to make charcoal in this paint can. I took this hard wood that's been out all winter, but it's still nice and dry. And I cut it up with my handsaw. And I fit as much as I could in my paint can. Then I tried to fill any cracks there there was with these paint mixing sticks that are free at Home Depot. It was very tight, which is what I want. The wood barely moves. I want as little air as possible. So I think it's ready to go into the fire. I'm going to cover it up. Put on some hot coals and see what happens. Okay, so here are my hot coals ready to go, which are very hot. Wow, wow, wow. Now I know logistically it doesn't make sense to make charcoal with charcoal, but this is just an experiment. Plus, it's a charcoal I don't like anyways. I've had it for over six months, so I figured why not. And I don't have any actual firewood. So here's the paint can, which I put two holes in with just a hammer and nail. That helps the air escape, or the gas, actually. And here's an empty paint can. I just wanted to show you that there is this liner inside, which apparently burns off fairly quickly from what I've researched and saw on YouTube. And it is probably somewhat toxic. It is a paint can, after all. But let's try it. Let's put these right on the coals. And that'll heat up in the wooden side. Should burn, turn to carbon, and then I have charcoal. I have no idea how long this takes, but let's find out. Okay, so it's been about 15 odd minutes. Still some smoke escaping from the top. And I added a bunch more charcoal. I'm just trying to get it as hot as possible. And I'm using a smoker, actually. I'm using my Japanese Kinoriyaki, which is from the 60s or 70s. It's very hard to date this, but I believe mid 60s to late 60s from what I can tell from a little bit of research but it's perfect for this nice and deep and this is going just as planned so I'll check on it in a little bit okay so you can see it now it is just bellowing out smoke from those two holes two two holes may have been a mistake we'll find out it's really smoky but that's what I want so the idea is that I'm trying to get a shot here without. <laughs> there we go. This is burning my eyes. Uh, the idea here is that the wood with no air turns to carbon, which is charcoal. There's probably a lot more to it than that, but this is what I'm doing, and that's <laughs> the extent of my knowledge for the most part. So this is working great. Hopefully, two holes doesn't mess everything up. But look at the smoke coming out of there. And I guess that is some type of gas, actually. This is great. Perfect. Okay, so it's been almost an hour now. And the smoke is still coming out. It's still sizzling. I'm going to move because I can't see there. And there's this black stuff coming out. I'm guessing that's to do with the liner, maybe. But I don't know. Either way, it's not slowing down at all. It's still coming out of there at a steady rate. The can is burning to a crisp. That's perfect. The can's almost black now. So yeah, almost an hour in. We're still going. I believe when it stops sizzling that it's essentially complete. Sorry, when it stops smoking, I mean. It'll probably be hand in hand with each other, but I meant smoking. Okay, so this is the hour 45 mark. It stopped uh, hissing. It's not making any noise now. It's smoking a lot less. There's some smoke coming from the charcoal because I stirred it up a little bit. but So it's definitely smoking less. But still smoking. Um, by the way, if you're going to do this, wear some type of glove because this is extremely hot. Not safe to touch. But I'd say it's almost done at the two hour mark. I'm going to check again. I mean, I've been standing here the whole time, but I'd say be done in about 15 odd minutes. And let's check on it then. 
All right, it's been two hours. I'm, I'm ready to take it off. The charcoal's pretty well all burnt up, but it's still really hot. That's not why I'm taking it off. I'm ready to take it off. I'm maybe a mixture of curiosity and impatience, but I just have a feeling it's done, and I'm worried it's turning into ash. We're going to find out. It's been essentially two hours exactly. Oops. And... It's really windy, so I hope you can still hear me, but we're going to find out. I'm going to open it up here after it cools down, and hopefully there's charcoal inside. Okay, we're done here. It's cooled down. It's a little dark because the sun's setting, but I just wanted to show you that it is charcoal. Now, a few pieces aren't done like that. I blame my impatience for that, but almost all of it is done. It's, uh, just take that if you don't mind, thank you. If I break it, it is black all the way through, pure carbon, beautiful hardwood lump charcoal. What's funny is these little sticks, which is like cheap little softwood things, didn't go through, which that's, I don't care about those. But the rest of it is beautiful charcoal. I could cook with this, absolutely. There's nothing wrong with this. I can't believe those didn't cook. That's surprising, but I don't care. You want the hardwood. Look at this one. Beautiful. That is uh, a mission accomplished. It worked. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.